Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is October 20th. New research suggests that breastfeeding may actually protect the mother when it comes to breast cancer. The researchers found that women who underwent breastfeeding had significantly higher CD8 cells, which are commonly used to fight cancers and other diseases, and it remained in the breast for over 30 years. There is now a new retinal implant that is being used to treat age-related macular degeneration and with relatively good success. Those who underwent this new implant found that 80% had improvement in their vision, but it was only a sample size of about 40 people. Before we get into the rest of it, if you want to stay up to date with the latest medical and healthcare news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack, where you'll get a daily update with a link to all of the sources, as well as a more in-depth analysis, or if you want to help support the page as a medical student, I would greatly appreciate it. There's some links in the bio as well. According to the American Heart Association, only 12% of Americans are aware of the cardiovascular kidney metabolic syndrome, which is a condition that can greatly affect your heart and kidneys as well as other organs. The more important part by their survey was that over 90% of Americans have at least one condition which is pre-exposing them to having this syndrome, such as high blood pressure, elevated BMI, and elevated blood sugar for some of the top reasons. This comes alongside with the American Heart Association's new guidelines for this, which is going to be the first guidelines ever released by them for treating this disease, and it's going to be coming out in 2026. And lastly, individuals who got a mRNA COVID-19 vaccine ended up having better results for common cancers if they received the vaccination 100 days before their immunotherapy for the cancer. Researchers aren't 100% clear on the mechanism, but they think it has to do with priming the immune system prior to the immunotherapy, as well as increasing certain proteins which are key for fighting cancers. That's all the major news for today. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.